What up, YouTube? Today's video, I want to talk about instant healing. Now, a lot of people don't know that humans we contain reptilian DNA. I said this before. If you look at us, if you look at the um, our hands or whatever, they're kind of scaly. You see what I'm saying? Like we have scales on our hands. You see what I'm saying? Because we have reptilian DNA, and I keep on telling people that the first part of your brain, the stem of your brain, is the vertebrae which is the reptilian side of the brain. Now, basically, having reptilian DNA, you know, gives us abilities to heal. Now, you know, some people have the, uh, re some people have better rejuvenation. People have, some people have better rejuvenating cells than other people. So basically, some people could heal faster than others. Some people, some people just, just heal instantaneously. I'm just going to be honest. Now, I'm going to tell you a story that happened to me that involved instantaneous healing. And this is how I knew that I was a special being. Now, I'm not saying no bragging type stuff that I'm better than anybody. I'm just speaking from experience. And yes, this story happened when I was like, I'm going to be honest. I don't know. I'm just going to say probably around 10 i'm gonna be honest like i had this story this what i'm gonna tell you what happened to me this had to happen when i was around the age like 10 or 12 something like that i was pretty much a kid so i'm gonna tell you this shit is crazy now a long time ago like i said i was like 10 or 12 it was me my mom my sister and i think my little brother i'm not for sure but we was going into um burlington coal factory you know what i'm saying if you know what that is you know what that is if you don't then you don't but we was going into burlington coal we were going into burlington coal factory or whatever right now my mom was talking to somebody she knew uh, i guess she must have seen a high school friend or some shit or just seen a friend that she knew or whatever and I was being nosy trying to um, try to see who she was talking to. And as I'm looking back, you know what I'm saying? I got my neck turned like this, trying to look back. But as I'm looking back, I'm slowly walking forward, not paying attention to what I'm doing. You see what I'm saying? On some clumsy kid type-ish. You see what I'm saying? So I look back. I'm like, who are you talking to? I don't see nobody. As soon as I turn around, boom. You know, the um, the little... Uh, the, the little... Um, the rack for the glasses. You know how, like, people... You know, and, like clothing stores they always had a little glasses rack or that it rotates and then on each corner it has like a sharp a little sharp edge to it now it was, it's ironic that the sharp edge would be pointing out so as soon as i turned around and i looked my head got caught into the uh my head got caught into the sharp edge of the glasses um stand thingy you see what i'm saying so basically the little edge from the um glasses stand that hold the glasses up the edge part of the wood was stuck in my forehead real talk and i had to like pour myself off i'm like ugh. and look i had a big ass gash in my head right and note this is all this all happened in brother to cold factory now as i'm walking blood started leaking down my face literally like so much blood starts leaking down my face it looked like some wwe type ish like it looked like niggas just fought mick foley in the ring or some shit but anyway blood leaking down my face so you know we going to the bathroom. I'm trying to cover it up, you know what I'm saying, like this. So nobody can see. So next thing you know, I go in the bathroom to get some tissue or whatever. And then this man see my face, he like, damn, that's a nasty gas, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I get some tissue. I'm pressing down on it. Blood is still leaking out. I'm like, oh, my fucking goodness. So I come back out the bathroom, find my mom and them, whatever. And um, they... But she was like, it didn't stop bleeding, did it? I'm like, nah. She was like, well, you might have to get stitches. I'm like, I'm not getting no stitches. And as soon as she said that, I had took the napkin off my forehead, looked at it, it was hella blood, went back to the bathroom, it stopped bleeding. Instantaneous, just like that. As soon as she said, you're going to have to go to the hospital and probably get stitches. I'm like, no, 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 no. Boom. And it just healed from there on out. And I never forget that story. I remember like it happened yesterday. Real talk, that's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. This shit is real. Spirituality is real. Don't let nobody ever try to tell you otherwise. You see what I'm saying? 
Real talk. That's why, look, I'm, I'm going to keep it 100. That's why a lot of these white-collar criminals, that's why a lot of these regular street criminals, they get away with. That's why some, that's why some get away with a lot of shit because a lot of them be spiritual and people don't even understand that. You see what I'm saying? A lot of criminals be spiritual and people do not understand that. And basically what that means is that's why they be getting away with so much stuff because they spiritual and people don't know that. They just think they just regular street thugs or regular cyber criminals. When these people are spiritual, the police be like, how the fuck we can't catch this guy? But the whole time they don't know. It's like I'm saying how I heal myself spiritually. I wasn't trying to get stitches. So I, it just healed by itself.